Welcome back ladies and gents. In this teaching video I'll be looking at 7.5 Dynamics and Inclined Planes. 7.5 represents chapter 7, section 5 of the Pearson A Level Maths Applied Maths Year 2 textbook. So I'm going to start the teaching video by going through the facts for this particular video. When a particle is accelerating on a rough plane, friction is given by the maximum friction F max. Now F max is equal to mu times R, where mu is the coefficient of friction, R is the normal reaction. Exam style question 1. The diagram shows a box of mass 2 kg being pushed up a smooth plane by a horizontal force of magnitude 20 newtons. The plane is inclined to the horizontal at an angle alpha, where tan alpha is equal to 3 over 4. Find part A, the normal reaction between the box and the plane. Part B, the acceleration of the box up the plane. So ladies and gents, I'm going to start off by labelling all the forces acting on this particular box. So we have the weight acting vertically downwards. That weight is 2g. For this weight, we could construct a right angle triangle. Okay, so here is my right angle triangle. This component over here is perpendicular to the plate. And this component over here is parallel to the plate. Since this angle is alpha, it can be shown that this angle is alpha. This component of the weight is given by 2g cos alpha because it is the adjacent. This component is given by 2g sine alpha because it is the opposite. Now ladies and gents, because this particular box is in contact with the surface, there will be a normal reaction coming out of the surface. And that normal reaction, we can call it R. It is perpendicular to the contact surface. For this horizontal force of 20 newtons, we have that this particular angle over here is alpha. Alternate angles are equal. So since this is alpha, this is also alpha. We can drop a perpendicular to the plate. So we've got a right angle triangle. We can stick in the arrows. Okay, remember that 20 newtons is going into the box in that direction. So this arrow is going downwards. This is going up the plane. Right, so this component force is going to be 20 sine alpha because it's the opposite. This component force over here is going to be 20 cos alpha because it is the adjacent. Right, so that there's all the forces acting on the box. Notice that there is no friction labelled because what we have over here is a smooth plane. There is no friction. Now in part B of the question it says the acceleration of the box up the plane. So I can label the acceleration up the plane. And that acceleration I can call it A. Meters per second per second. Right, now we're given that tan alpha is equal to 3 over 4. I can construct a right angle triangle. So we've got tan alpha is equal to 3 over 4, so opposite of the adjacent, the opposite is 3, and the adjacent is 4. By Pythagoras' theorem, the hypotenuse will be 5. So we've got that sine alpha is equal opposite over hypotenuse. Cos alpha is equal adjacent over hypotenuse. Okay, now, part A, we want to find the normal reaction between the box and the plate. So we are trying to calculate R. To find R, I'm going to be resolving perpendicular to the plate, taking this direction to be the positive direction. We know that the box is not moving perpendicular to the plate, so the resultant force F is equal 0. Now, ladies and gents, let's find the resultant force F. We've got R minus 20 sine alpha minus 2g cos alpha this is my resultant force f this must equal zero so if i make r the subject i've got r equal 20 sine alpha plus 2g cos alpha but i know what sine alpha is 3 over 5 and cos alpha is 4 over 5, I can substitute these exact values into this particular equation. So I've got R equal 20 multiplied by sine alpha, which is 3 over 5, plus 2G multiplied by cos alpha, which is 4 over 5. Okay, and we know that G is equal to 9.8 at the acceleration due to gravity. So we can substitute G equal to 9.8 
into here and if I put this whole thing into my calculator I get that the normal reaction R is equal to 27.68 newtons in exact form. Part B, we want to find the acceleration of the box up the plate. So we're going to be resolving in the direction of the acceleration and that direction is up the plate using Newton's second law F equal ma. So the resultant force F will be 20 cos alpha minus 2g sine alpha okay so that there is my resultant force this will equal the mass which is 2 multiplied by the acceleration a so I've got 20 multiplied by cos alpha which is 4 over 5 take away 2g multiplied by sine alpha which is 3 over 5 equal to a hence a is equal to 20 multiplied by 4 over 5 minus 2g multiplied by 3 over 5 or divided by 2. Okay, we know that g is equal to 9.8. So if I put this into this and if I put this whole thing into my calculator, that there will give me the acceleration of the box up the plate. So the acceleration is equal to 2.12 meters per second per second in exact form. And that there, ladies and gents, completes exam style question 1. Here is exam style question 2. A block of mass 4 kg is being pulled up a rough slope, inclined at 25 degrees to the horizontal, by means of a rope. The rope lies along the line of the slope. The tension in the rope is 30 newtons. Given that the acceleration of the block is 2 meters per second per second, find the coefficient of friction between the block and the plate. Ladies and gents, I'm going to start off by drawing a diagram. So we've got a horizontal surface. We've got a rough slope inclined to the horizontal at 25 degrees. There is a block on the rough slope. That block has a mass of 4 kg. The weight acts vertically downwards and the weight is given by 4g. For this particular weight, we have component forces. We can construct a right angle triangle. So this component is perpendicular to the slope and this component is parallel to the slope. Let's put in the arrows. 90 degrees it can be shown that this angle is 25 degrees the adjacent component will be 4g cos 25 degrees the opposite component will be 4g sine 25 degrees now since this block is in contact with the rough slope there'll be a normal reaction coming out of the block and that normal reaction we can call it r it is perpendicular to the rough slope so the block is being pulled up a rough slope by means of a rope. The rope lies along the line of the slope. So this is the line of the slope. So what we know that is the rope is parallel to that slope. And that rope will have a tension of 30 newtons. Okay, so we can label 30. Since this block is being pulled up the rough slope, there will be friction acting down the slope in the opposite direction. And ladies and gents, that friction is at its maximum because the block is accelerating. And the acceleration of the block is 2 meters per second per second up the slope. So friction is at its maximum. We can label it as mu r. That there, ladies and gents, is my complete diagram. The target is to find the coefficient of friction between the block and the plane. So we're trying to calculate mu. Mu acts in the direction parallel to the slope. So we're going to resolve parallel to the slope, taking up the slope to be the positive direction, the direction of the acceleration. So we use Newton's second law, F equal ma, to generate the equation of motion for the block. So the resultant force F will be 30, take away 4g sine 25 degrees, take away mu r. So we have 30, take away 4g, sine 25 degrees, take away mu r. That there has to equal the mass of the block, which is 4, multiplied by the acceleration, which is 2. So we have 30 minus 4g sine 25 degrees minus mu r is equal to 8. 
So now what I need to do is make mu the subject. So if I rearrange, I get the following result. 30 minus 4g sine 25 degrees minus 8 is equal mu r. So we know that 30 take away 8 is just 22. So we have 22 minus 4g sine 25 degrees is equal to mu r. Dividing both sides by r, the normal reaction gives us mu is equal to 22 minus 4g sine 25 degrees all over r. We can call this equation 1. Now to work out mu, we need to know what the normal reaction r is. To find r, we're going to resolve perpendicular to the slope. Okay, so we're resolving perpendicular to the slope. Taking this direction to be the positive direction. The block is not moving perpendicular to the slope. And so the resultant force F perpendicular to the slope is equal to zero. What is that resultant force F? Well, it will be R minus 4G cos 25 degrees. So R minus 4G cos 25 degrees has to equal zero. Hence, R is equal 4G cos 25 degrees, equation number two. Okay, so now to work out mu, we need to substitute equation 2 into equation 1. Hence, mu is equal to 22 minus 4g sine 25 degrees all over 4g cos 25 degrees. So I can put this into my calculator, and then if I round off to three significant figures, I get mu is equal to 0.153. To three significant figures. So that there ladies and gents completes exam style question two and it also completes this teaching video. If you found this video useful please don't forget to leave a comment, leave a like, turn on the notification bell so you receive notifications every time I upload a teaching video and please don't forget to subscribe.